This is the equipment we use yes. for our setup for Ad Nauseam's gig. Let's come around to the back here. Let's do that. All right. So once this board is on the table where it's going to be for the gig, I think the first thing you should do, because everyone can do it at once, mm. is take whatever they have as far as their microphones yeah. and start plugging them in. Yeah, and it should match the stage, you know, from left to right. Well, we'll have them labeled. I just have them taped up. We'll have them, everyone's named instruments across the bottom here. So, the right. So Dan, Amy, Bill, Dan, Jordan. That'll all be covered up. Okay. So it'll line up. So it'll have, I don't know, Dave, Trusty, Melissa, um, Amy, and or Rich. And you'll probably have a space, and you'll go. Rich's guitar, your guitar, your acoustic, and you'll probably leave a space, and you'll go bass, and you'll space, and you'll kick and snare. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have ten. Did you call that? The greatest extension cord ever made. Excellent. GCF, GFCI outlet, right. in case it's raining. Right. Heavy duty. Yeah, you can't beat, you can't make that yourself. Did you make that yourself? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> All right. Now this is where it can get a bit complicated. Okay. Yeah. On this board, whenever I hit the select button on the appropriate channel, and then everything you do will then affect the channel it's selected. So. I can play with channel one, I can play with channel two, as far as like EQ and all the other kind of stuff. Sure. But what I want to show you is, when I hit select, and you come over here to assign, that now tells me where channel one is going to be sent to. So if you look at it right now, it's not being sent to the mains. It's only going to be sent to sub one, sub two, sub three. Mm. The mains are going to be the QSCs, and the mains are only going to have vocals through them. The QSCs only will have vocals. So, we need to go across channel one and just have them all routed to mains. So all the vocal channels are going to mains. Michael Solomon knows all this. It's, and it's going to remember this? Yes, I'll save it. Even though the power's right. off. Okay. So now our four vocal mics are all going to the mains. Okay. Five we're not using. Um, six is going to be Rich's guitar. So we're going to send that to sub one. Seven is going to be your guitar. We want that sub one also. And then your acoustic is going to be, again, sub one. We'll skip one. And then bass, we're going to have that sub one. And then snare and kick, sub one. So for review, that's main, 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 main. Guitars going sub one, sub one, sub one. Bass sub one, snare and kick sub one. So the only thing coming through the QSCs are the vocals, which will make them sound cleaner. The speakers won't be busy with all those other frequencies. It'll sound, it'll cut through the mix better with less volume. So, and eventually when we go over to here, if you see this, so this will be controlling the QSCs, meaning the total vocal volume. Right. Sub one will be the instruments only which will eventually be going to your Yamaha 15 inches. Okay. So, which, yeah, so there you go. So during the gig, we will label that instrument. Oh yeah, vocals. exactly. Okay. So instruments, this will be vocals. All right, that's about all you need to know for that. Now we're talking about monitor mix and we're gonna use only one monitor mix. Yes. So we're gonna use aux one as our monitors. This board can have six different monitor mixes. We're gonna go with one and just link them all together. Okay. So I'm gonna hit mix, so now, when I hit mix, and that button lights up, this display here now represents the volumes of the different channels in the monitor mix. Obviously, we're only gonna have acoustic, I'm sorry, only gonna have vocals in the monitor mix. No instruments coming through the monitors, obviously. Okay. And just a touch of acoustic so you can hear it. Okay. So if you look at this now, these dials now will affect the monitor mix. So right here, ignore that those fire tape. That's something completely different. So channel one, just say it happens to be Dan. Mm -hmm. This now controls Dan's vocal mic in the monitor mix. And I mix them all how I want. So they're 
just like that. So whatever, wherever it sounds nice, you know. So you, how did you bring up the monitor mix to do by this? By hitting this mix button. The mix button. Yep. And then you selected the monitor mix by doing what? I selected by that, and then I controlled different channels, monitor mix with these buttons. Well, how does it know it's not on mix for the mains? Because that's this. That's directly on there. Yeah. When you turn it off. Right. And see, if you notice, if you did just understand the principle of here's one monitor mix, just say that's you. When you want right. everyone in, you want to hear everyone. Right. But Rich only wants to hear himself and just say this is Rich. Yeah. Well, I would go to a different aux. I would go to aux 6 and I would just put Rich up. So Rich's mix well, actually would be here. Rich's mix is just him. And say, oh, I want a little bit of Dave. So right. I would do that. Right, right. A little bit of Tracy. So everyone can have a personalized. Little, thing. Exactly. But then you need separate outs for that for everyone? Yes. So that's okay. Right. Okay. So and you see when I go back to aux 1 mix, it goes back to how the main, the main monitor mix is sent mm -hmm. and this back to riches and you can do it to all of these you know they all can be different and you can do it with all 16 channels okay so that's that <laughs> anything else uh, as far as the board is concerned not really that should be it now let's just go over where we plug stuff in make sure we got it all right gonna do it or gonna disappoint? the bottom you're looking at the power amp to run the non-powered or passive Q uh, Yamahas right both the stage monitors and the 15 inch the crown. instrument mains on top is the apex oral exciter oh, we know all about that yes. and the very top is the power strip just the power strip oh, okay connections Ta -da. <laughs> hooking up the main outputs which will eventually go to the qscs okay. short xlr cable right the female no is there a reason why we don't just label that QSC out or something? Because I use it for different things. When it's just in my studio, it's not QSC. Okay. Left and right, we've got these here. Main out. Main yeah. output. They are going to go into the input of the Aphex, the Aurox Cider. It's here and here. It actually says from mixer on it. You can't screw that up. Already twisting. There they are. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Got that. Then. Very simply, pretend this is a long XLR cable, okay. or join two together if you have to. You will take out from the Aphex. It says two QSC on it. Right. You plug this in here. I like that. That one there, and you run them to the QSCs. Where's the other one? Right over here. Two QSC. Yeah. Two QSC. Yeah. So that goes to the QSCs. That's as simple as can be. Right. QSCs are then hooked up. So right. They're going to say that's a long cable, obviously. Well, you have or one two. short cable. Well, you have one cable because this will be on the side of the stage. You have one cable that's relatively short because it'll probably be right around here. The other one will more likely be two XLRs put together. All right. All right, that's that. In fact, I often just leave these attached, and I will do that. And you just wrap them in there. And just keep them in here. Yeah. That's a little trick you learned, little pearl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that is hooking up the mains, yep. the Yamaha mains. The non-powered speaker Right, mains. which will be carrying all the instruments. All right, all right. stop it. All right, hooking up the Yamaha mains, 15 inch. As we remember, the Yamaha mains are coming off of subgroup one. So if you look here in the back of the mixer. Find subgroup one. Subgroup one output. One, two, three, and four right there. There we go. Yep. Yep. Now, since we need an XLR input on the power amp, and this is a quarter eight, quarter inch output, we need a adapter. So it just goes into subgroup one. There you go. Okay. Oh, from there the power amp. So now you're going to need an then, XLR cable. Exactly. From subgroup output one, short XLR, into input on the power amp, channel one. Okay. Now we need to hook up one of the speakers, Yamaha's, to the power amp with a special cable that has a speak on connection on one side and a quarter inch on the other. Whoa. And that is quite simple. 
so this is, are you hooking up the QSCs now? No, no, the QSCs are hooked up. Because my Yamahas don't have the speak on. They have this. Right. Yes. Oh, and the other end's going there. Yes. Gotcha. Good, good question. Yeah. <laughs> we asked a lot of good questions so, on the show. So, I'm using the speak on connector onto the output, channel one. It says to monitors, but ignore that. Now just plug it in here. It, it, you gotta twist it, it'll go in. And then once it's in, you grab the collar and turn it, and it locks in. Damn, how'd you, can I do it? Which unlocks the blue? To, if you want to unlock it, grab the gray, the gray, pull it out a little bit, and then turn it to the left. Yeah. So you can get it, put it in. <laughs> so once we take the speak on, and connect that to the output of the power amp, channel one, we take the quarter inch, which should be familiar to you, and plug it into the Yamaha 15 inch main. Mm -hmm. Then you take a good old fashioned. Oh, Tip sleeve. Quarter inch, speak, uh, quarter inch speaker cable. Okay. And Daisy Yamaha 15 yeah. inch one right. to the other one. Yeah, we know. Your yeah. Yamaha 15 inches yeah. are done. Good. Okay. Hope your viewers are getting all this. Hooking up <laughs> the getting hooked up Yamaha monitors. Okay. As we know, we have the monitor mix on aux one. Nice. So we come back aboard and find aux one outputs. Again, it's a quarter inch. We need XLR and go to your adapter. And much like the last one, we're going to connect aux one output to the power amp. Channel two. Power amp is two channels. How convenient. The power amp is two amps. There's one's on one side, one's on the other. One's taking care of the uh, big mains that are not powered, and the other one's taking care of the monitors that are not powered. Correct. And then we take, I'll just use this just for. Yes. We take another cable, because there'll be three of them in here, yeah. of speak on into channel two, which is right next to channel one. In there. Yeah, don't get confused. This is stereo. It is not stereo. And then this quarter inch goes into the Yamaha monitor. Yes. Then you daisy chain the monitors via speaker cable. Are there are issues with the number of monitors when we're dealing with my Yamaha power amp. Is that are there issues with this amplifier? Well, I can tell you that your power amp is how many amps? Yamaha 512 yeah. BMX, I think. Right. I think it's like 500 watts. Total. Total. 250%. Correct. This power amp is 2,500, and it's just enough to do the job. And it's just enough? Yes. Wow. Safely to sound clear with no right. distortion. Right. You get a 500 watt amp pushing all those speakers at that, you're, they're both, you're down to four ohms on each channel, so you're down to two ohms total. It's going to sound crappy. It's not going to sound clean. Okay. This will sound clean. So they're all hooked up.